today we're looking at lesson three of the wild goose exercise. We finished the first section in this position. We had done uh, press left, right, center and turn. And we had done three circles and finished here. The good news is it repeats on the other side. We do that by dropping the back heel. The left toes lift up, turn on your heel, shift onto your left foot to pick up your right toes. And now you're ready to repeat the same movement on the other side with the left hand passing the waist over your head and down. You might be here, you might be here, and if you're very supple, you should be here. Three circles. Push away, turn the hand to gather up, and as we come up on this side, the right hand drops in the middle. We're now going to rotate the hands three times. Left hand in, right hand in, left hand in. And then the left hand comes to the waist. So they're half circles. Left hand in, right hand in, left hand in. And the important thing about this action is the acupuncture points on the wrist, Nei Guan and Wai Guan, are connecting. So the hands are quite crossed over. I'm not doing it with palms passing each other, but I'm almost brushing my elbows with my fingertips as I'm doing this to make this connection here in the middle on each rotation. So the previous movement is just exactly as we did before on the first side. We've just turned round to repeat it. The only difference being after we've turned around, we've already got both hands up here so your left hand just goes down to your waist the belt channel and then over your head and down if you can reach your toes that's the best action but if you are reaching your toes remember it's not just a toe circle but an elbow circle so when you're down here this elbow should be making the circles not this not this pushing away, gathering up, right hand in the middle. As you start to turn, left hand in, right hand in, left hand in, left hand to the waist. Now we're ready to step forward three paces. We're to step forward with the right foot first. Let's look at how we step in wild goose. Stepping action in wild goose is different to walking heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, as you might walk down the street. We do the opposite in the wild goose, it's toe first, then the heel. So we put the toe down, heel down, and shift the weight forwards. Toe down, heel down, shift the weight forwards. So we're on the ball of the foot, basically, in this position. Those are my trousers, as you can see. Heel is off the ground. The weight is on the back leg, the back knee is bent, the front leg is straight. And then we put the front foot down and move forwards onto the ball of the foot, heel down and move forward. So you always get this transitional stage in the middle where you've got both feet flat on the floor. That's the good news. We're going to make four steps forwards from the rotation. Right foot and the right hand forward for one. And I'm looking at the palm of my hand, which is level with my waist. It turns over onto my back. Step number two. I'm on the ball of the foot to here and then when I get to the side and I can't really twist more comfortably it's time to put my heel down and finish the movement. Turn the waist, heel down, finish the movement. Turn the waist, heel down and finish the movement. And practice it like that up and down your living room till it becomes comfortable. How do the hands connect with the back? When I go round to the back of the waist, I'm turning it over and putting it at the side of my spine. Either side of my spine is where I want to go with these. So you can see it's just an easy turn in the waist. I'm not over twisting. Here, both feet are flat on the floor before I step again. It's the same place on your back that we had in lesson number one. If you remember in lesson number one, we did this action on your toes, back of the waist. Here we are, same position. It's called Shen Shu Point. It's on the bladder meridian. 
So either side of your weight, either side of your spine on your waist, and you will find there's a little sensitive spot. If you just press with your thumbs around here, you'll find, oh yes, a little dent. There it is. That's the point that we're looking for. The third step is three steps. The third step is exactly the same as the first one. So we do two on this side, one on this side. The fourth step on this one changes because when we get to here on the fourth step, the weight goes forward and now we're turning the waist. So we've got this nice twist going on. And then I'm going to untwist and finish up on the back foot. So as I'm twisting my waist, side view for that last action there, the last step forward, step number four, gets to here, same as the other ones, but then stand up. So I've got a straight leg and my back heel has come off. Stand up, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning as much as you can. You want your front hand in front of your forehead. The hand is just relaxed, soft. And this acupuncture point here between the finger and the thumb, the hergu point, is facing in towards your third eye. Your left hand, as it gets round to the side, turns over, same as before, but this time it's opposite the centre of your spine. Not touching, but just opposite. So that's the last step forward. So I've done step number three. Step number four, put the weight on the front foot to stand and twist. Lowering the back hand, changing to the back foot to finish with my left hand. The center of my left hand, the Laogong point, is opposite my third eye. It's transmitting energy in to my upper downturn. I'm finishing with the weight on the back foot to receive that energy. So it's a, an incoming action. Put it in. It's quite soft. In. There's nothing clunky or hard or exaggerated about this movement. It's very gentle. Left hand goes down, as it comes up, drop. And the weight is all on the back leg again. Front leg is straight, the back leg is bent. That completes lesson number three. So let's try that and follow it with me through from where we finished the last lesson. So the last lesson we've done the pressing, left, right and centre and turning. And we've done these circles, high, medium or low is up to you. One, two, three times, push away, turn the hand to gather up. And lesson number two finished there. Heel down, toes up, turn in, toes up. Passing your waist over your head. High, medium or low, up to you. One, two, three circles, push away, we're gathering up, right hand in the middle. Now we're rotating inwards with the left hand as we're turning, in with the right hand, in with the left. The weight is on your left foot so your right foot can step onto the ball of the foot. Put your heel down, shift forwards, left foot forwards, turn the waist, heel down, step forwards, right foot forwards. Heel down, shift forwards, and the last step, put your heel down and stand up, turning the waist, left hand down, and onto the back foot to finish. And just step forward there to return the chi to the dantian, breathing in as we go up, breathing out as we come down the front. not quite so easy as it looks. Getting used to stepping forward on the ball of the foot does take a little bit of time, so give yourself a chance to practice that and work it into your routine. Well done.